This is a classic situation you may face uh, as a science problem. We have here something set up and it really doesn't matter what the question is asking. A lot of times the information, the answer choices is enough for you to solve the problem. This is especially beneficial if you're trying to hurry through questions and save time. Here we have uh, temperature and pressure and something is happening to both of these. Now, as you first look at this, one thing to remember is uh, there's two goals that test questions, uh, the, the writers of test questions are going for. First, they want to present something and make sure that uh, you're able to derive the answer appropriately. But the other is just, do you understand this sort of material? And so sometimes common sense can point you to the answer. Here, we're dealing with temperature and pressure and one of them is going up and one of them is going down, something is happening to both of them. And if you think about it, when temperature increases in most systems, pressure is going to increase as well. If you just don't, don't think about the question, again, just look at the answers. And so if you were just making a straight up guess based on your knowledge of, of how things work in the world, as temperature increases, pressure is going to increase. And that might lead you to choice B. Let me show you another way, again, just focused on the answer choices here, that you can come to the same answer. If we look at these, three of the answer choices have temperature going up, and one of them has temperature going down. So if, if we didn't consider the pressure, if we only consider temperature, we would say that odds are the answer choice that is correct is probably one of these that has the temperature on the increase. Now let's look at the other half of this. What's going on with pressure? We have pressure going down, pressure going up, pressure stays unchanged, and pressure going up. So out of, if you just looked at this, out of, the, out of the four choices, two of them have pressure increasing, one has pressure going down, and one has pressure being unchanged. And so again, if you were just guessing, you would say that the answer was probably going to be one of these two. And then as you look back at this section, the answer is likely going to be one of these three that have the temperature going up. And so which answer choice marries the most popular selection over here with the most popular selection over here? And the answer is going to be this one right here, choice B. And so if you have time to go through and you understand the problem and you're able to make the correct selection, you don't have to resort to this, but it's a great way to just kind of do a gut check if you have had time or if you're trying to make an educated guess, it's an excellent way to make an educated guess uh, that more than likely will be correct.